Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have created our project, right? So this is a GitHub repository, Angular Animations. Now here, let's try to see a basic project. So we have created a basic project, right? Let's try to have a refreshment. So what I will try to do is, so I am creating here, uh, I am creating here a new components. In order to create a new component, we need to use generate component or otherwise in the shortcut, we can use the GC. And here I am creating a course and in the components folder, I will create it and I am creating a course. So let's create a course. So this is our simple uh, component. Let it create it. And here in our app component.ts file or otherwise I will create a model. So here I will be creating a models and in this models, I will create a course.model.ts. So for this one, let, let it create. So here it is taking some time. So here the models folder has been created in this model folder. I will create a new file <coughs> course dot model dot ts file. Okay. This is our course file and here I'll be having export interface interface course. So this is the thing. And in this one, I will have one title of type string and I can have is active of type boolean boolean. Now here, let's try to have it like this so now we have created a interface let's go to the app component.ts file in this app component.ts file i will be creating a new variable that is course i will be having a course variable of type course okay so this should be let's import this course yeah and this one is an array of course and here you will be having something like so first one is the title. So we need to give the title. It's a nothing but angular complete course. And the another one is an is active is false. Let's say, and I will be having another one, another one. So let's have another two things, three things. So complete course. Now here we will be having another one is angular unit testing, angular unit testing. And another one we'll be having is the angular angular rxjs. So these are the three uh, tutorials, three, three playlists, which we are having it. Now let's go into the code. So we need to show it in the here. So here we will, now we have created a component, right? I'm deleting this all the code and let's try to run this one ng serve. So it, it will be running and here let's go to the course.component.ts file. And here we are having the HTML course course works. Okay. Let's go to the app component.ts file. So here I will be using the app iPhone course. So like this, we will be using app iPhone course. So we have created a component where you have used a component. Let's let it run. So server has generated the files. If you go into our browser, if you are able to see course works fine. Now I want to show my course here. So in order to show the course here, what I can do is I can use the ng for. So ng for is equal to course of courses. So here you will be looping over the course of courses and these courses come from the variable. So it did not exist in the app component. So why it does not exist in the app component here. We are okay. Courses. We will have a courses. Sorry. Courses. Right. Now let's go into the app component HTML. We will be having, let's pass this one here. So I am passing a single course here is equal to course. I am passing here a single course. Now let's go to the course component.ts. So we are having a single course, right? So here I will be taking it as an input. Input course. I will be taking it is of type course, simple course. Yeah. Now this should be here. So I can give exclamation mark so that it is mandatory. So now here we have a course and let's go to the course.html and here I will be showing a simple div. And in this one, I will show course dot title i will show only the course dot title so now if i click on this due okay now let's see whether we can able to access it or not now if i go into here and here errors in the template what is happen so what does it happen oh here single quote right so we need to use the double quote okay fine nice now if you try to see the output now here we are able to see angular complete course unit testing and all the things you are able to see. Now next thing what we need to do is 
so here we are able to do this one so we are able to do it and uh, what i want is for example i want to have it now if you see the output in this one if you see the output if i inspect the element and if i see here yeah here if you try to see here the three components we are able to see so the three custom element components so here these these three are custom elements app course app course app course now i want to move it side by side so i want to make it side by side so how can i make this one to move it side by side so that means i want to apply display inline block to this app iphone course not to the div element which is present inside the app course for this one if you want to apply a css so we have a special sudo selector in the course.css if you go into the course.css we have a sudo selector that is nothing but host so for this one whatever the uh, css you are trying to apply in this host sudo selector this will be applied directly to the component to the component element now here i want to maintain it as a display inline block okay now if you see here now these all the three will come side by side see now if you try to go to the inspect element and if i see here for this app course see here we i am able to see the display inline block okay so this is how we will be able to apply so inline block i am able to apply now i will make it, i will give some padding so you can give some padding of 10 pixel and you can give margin of 30 pixel and i can apply a border of 1 pixel solid black and i can also give a width of uh, 300 pixel each one so like this i can give and if you try to see the output here we are able to see it so let's decrease it to 200 pixel it is too much big right if we try to see the output here yeah here like this we are having so let's make it as a center yeah, okay i can make it as a text align text align center i can make it now these are all the css which i am trying to apply only for the component element not for the development the custom component element we are using so there is nothing but a shadow dom so this is the shadow dom right so that is the reason i am trying to do it now here that's finished now what i want to do is for example if i click on this one i need to make it as an active true so how can i make this one as an active true let's go to the app component.html here if somebody clicks on this one okay so it will not come okay if somebody clicks on this one i want to make this course dot is active is equal to not of course dot is active so i am making it like this now when this is active is there i want to apply a class so here i can apply ng class is equal to so here i want to apply active class and when this is active is there okay same same thing so here course dot is active so that's it now if you try to see here if i if i go into this one now here for this first one app course we don't have any class right so if i click on this one see a class active has been applied for this one if i remove this one a class active has been removed so for the second one also if i apply class active is applying and class active is removing so for this one as also it is applying and removing now when when a component when a custom component is having a class active means i want to apply some border color to red or black green or something like that so for this one what we need to do is in the course.css so we are having the host right so if the host you need to write something like a function like this host dot active so if a host is having a, da a dot active element then apply border of border color i will apply the border color to red okay let's see so here i will make it as a two pixel so that it will be a little bit thicker now if you see the output here it is refreshing the page so here if i click on this one automatically this has been converted into red color right so now here you also you can be able to see like this we can the, this is the use of the host element in the angular so when we need to use the host element so whenever you want to target the custom component so in the custom component css if you want to target means then we will be using this host element so this is about the host element so what i will try to do is so this is this code enter code i have hosted in the github repository so i will commit this one with a new creating a new branch video hyphen 2 and i will commit this code so host element we have learned about the host element so not host element host sudo selector which is available in the angular now i am committing this entire code so if you have any doubts or any suggestions you can check this code so here if you try to see this is our github repository url and automatically this one will be committed into this one so whoever may be having a doubts of particular video they can go to this particular branch uh, particular video branch is this committed the code yeah it's committed now if you try to see here so new branch will be created yeah video hyphen 2 new branch will be created you can go to this particular video branch and you can check the code so this is all about the 
uh, host element in angular so we will try to learn one by one about the animations how we need to implement the animations in angular and all those things we will try to learn one by one hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you